Today we are going to discuss all my hopes and wants for Call of Duty 2022 and what I would like to see for every aspect of the game that is Modern Warfare Roman numeral 2. With that being said, I would also like to see all your thoughts down below in the comment section as to what you would like to see for next year's game. The reveal of the game is set to come next week on June 8th as it was confirmed yesterday during our first official teaser, so I wanted to make this video here to give you all my thoughts on what I would like to see for the next year's game. Starting with campaign, this is here what I am personally looking forward to the most, especially since the one redeeming factor for me with Modern Warfare 2019 was the campaign, which was really good. I always like Infinity Ward with how they do campaigns. They are maybe the best at it with Call of Duty, especially after Treyarch did not meet the mark with Black Ops 3 campaign and broke their streak of good stories. I think if this campaign can be on the same level as Modern Warfare 2019, then we are in for some good story beats and action. The ability for Modern Warfare 2019 2019 to be a serious, tension-filled, and somewhat realistic take on conflicts like the ones depicted in that game, I think they did a great job with there. The way they had basically said that they don't care what anyone thinks about the brutality of it all and go to places that most games wouldn't even imagine to go to was ballsy and risky and I applaud them for it. And look, Nothing in that game can even touch a mission like No Russian from Modern Warfare 2, of course, which was under their watch as well. Infinity Ward is known for these types of things with their campaigns. Treyarch, as a comparison, does a lot of similar things as well, and sometimes it's more to the excitement and the non-realism of it all. With Infinity Ward campaigns, they very much make it about the story and the characters. Another thing I want is a good adaptation and story for our characters in Price, Gaz, Alejandro, who's a newcomer and now with Soap and Ghost returning for the very first time since Modern Warfare 2 and Modern Warfare 3, where both characters met their death in the saddest ways. I am glad that Ghost and Soap are coming back since they are two of the most iconic characters of all time in Call of Duty lore. Regardless of how I feel about the new character design for Ghost, which I'll admit it's fine, but it's not as good and as iconic as his OG outfit. I do hope they give that character a lot to do since in Modern Warfare 2, he is more so to the side than guys like Price, Soap, and even Roach, who you play as mainly on that side of the conflict during that game's campaign, all the way up until their deaths. As far as story goes, the synopsis that we've seen says, The campaign in Modern Warfare sequel will follow U.S. soldiers going to war against Colombian drug cartels. Coordinates revealed in the logo animation also pointed to a conflict happening in Singapore. So right there, we've got two big story notes to go off. Singapore sounds very interesting as a place to go to. As far as the cartel stuff, I am actually intrigued because I feel we don't go into that type of stuff as much, so it could offer a lot of interesting details and story points. Alright, so enough from campaign, let's get into the nitty gritty, which is now the biggest and most important part of the game in multiplayer. So, bit of a backstory, since this is a sequel to Modern Warfare 2019, I did not like that game's multiplayer at all, just me personally. I felt it to be very overrated, nothing about it worked for me at all. I did not like the maps, some of the worst that we've ever had, the game spawned maybe the worst prestige system, the worst prestige system in COD multiplayer history, nothing about it made any sense and it didn't give players any control over what they wanted to do. The maps offered nothing but low-skilled playstyles to the point where the inclusion of non-destructible doors was a massive mistake. The weapon balancing was all over the place and almost 90% of the guns in the game would even they wouldn't even have been used because of the whole meta phase of Call of Duty that I feel started to be elevated in that game specifically. The main menu is a mess and no I am not talking about the unnecessary character in the background walking in an infinite loop which is only meant to show off the unnecessary skins the game came with. The menu is a mess filled with stuff that just doesn't need to be there. Operators are also something that needs to go and I did not like that and don't think it needed to be in the game. Gunsmith, while a cool premise, I think it's way too overbearing and at the end of the day, I just think a lot of the game is full of stuff that doesn't need to be there and Look, and they, uh, of course, they also had the, the lobby disbanding, which nobody liked, and I think it ruins the idea of a community experience, and they also had the, the new spawn system, which is based on squad spawns, which, again, it, n not good. Like, that's a really terrible system, and it doesn't offer for good gameplay. And so, with that being said, if you take everything I just put into account, I don't want any of that in Modern, War Modern Warfare 2, or in this case, Modern Warfare Roman numeral 2 for next year. 
I want good maps, of course, that are linear and not based around low skill players and players of all types. I don't want doors. Get that stuff out of here. Give me a good and old school prestige system. Black Ops 2, for example, has that great prestige system of where you can go and get different ranks, levels, and then by the time you get to the prestige master, you then have the choice to reset or not, allowing the player to have that choice instead of just resetting it for them at level 150 is ridiculous. Multiplayer should also have a community system in place. Again, I'll go back to the gold standard of this. Black Ops 2 has the best community system to date, which is why it's one of the best, if not the best, of all time in COD history. Emblem Editor, Combat Records, League Teams for Ranked Play, a good leaderboard system, good theater mode, and hell, bring back COD TV. You all remember that from Black Ops 2? That was the tippity top of the community outline with friends feed, funny snapshots, and so much community-based content that gave people a chance to interact with each other. I'll even add into all this, please turn down the, the SBMM for casual playlists and give us a good ranked mode and on release, not four months after the game comes out. I know I keep bringing it up, but also put in a good microtrans microtransaction system if you are going to have that in in the game at all. I mean, Black Ops 2 maybe did it the best. Not overpricing the skins, they put them in at only like $2, unlike Call of Duty Vanguard and Warzone, which makes you pay a third of a game's price for just one skin. Unfortunately, something that I wish could be added to the list, but has no point anymore, is lobby disbanding. Sadly, due to a leak that I found out about is that lobby disbanding will be returning for some reason i mean what reason that is i have no idea and it just shouldn't be in the game in the first place Woo! all right so uh that was a lot so now we can move on to the third mode which is actually not going to have much to be talked about since we actually don't know officially what the third mode will be whether that is a new spec ops mode um a sequel to extinction or their version of zombies which they've only ever done once before with infinite warfare i think personally if i had to pick one of those three modes to have it all it would be extinction since i actually really liked extinction in call of duty ghosts would i rather have it for a ghost sequel i mean of course i would honestly i i but at, at this point i don't ever think we're actually going to get a sequel to that game which sucks personally but that doesn't mean that they can't ever bring the mode back for another game i wasn't a fan of infinite warfare zombies and the way it looked i i understand it was a different take but for me it just i i wasn't into it and with spec ops well i mean let's be honest we know how modern warfare 2019 went with that and so i don't know if i trust them to get that right on a second try considering spec ops in modern warfare 2019 is arguably maybe the worst third mode in Call of Duty history, I mean, that that mode was just a disaster. I mean, it, it did nothing right that people would have wanted to see for a Spec Ops mode. And so we'll just have to see what happens with that, especially if it gets revealed next week during the official reveal on June 8th. So hey, with all that in order, those are my thoughts about what I hope and want to see for Modern Warfare Roman Numeral 2 coming out this fall on October 28th. Guys, I am really hoping this game is good. And honestly, I truly believe it needs needs to be good especially with the break coming after this year to where we are not getting another title in 2023 so again leave your thoughts down below like this video so the algorithm can like me and subscribe if you are new and want to see more all love hope you guys have a great day and i will see you all in the next one